Hello, this is Tim from Boat Shed Yacht Brokers and I'm going to take you for a look around the underside to show you the underwater profile and what's underneath this really lovely looking yacht. So we're looking at the stern at the moment. As you can see, we've got a really, really nice, uh, very lovely shaped and profile hull at the stern. And going down, we've got the nice, really long spade rudder. Very deep, should give really great traction. And uh, just looking forward, we've got the uh, propeller here. So we've got the feathering propeller here, opens up. Uh, I think this could do with a little bit of work because it feels a little bit rough. Some some cleaning up, some lubrication there perhaps. But also you can see we've got the P bracket there and we can see where the, uh, the penetration is in the hull for the propeller shaft. And I think the prop shaft could do with a bit of cleaning up too. And a new anode. Um, generally underneath, we can see the, uh, the anti-foul looks pretty good. I suspect it could do with being rubbed down and uh, renewed. We can see where a surveyor at some point in the recent history uh, or the recent past has uh, done some scrapings and uh, most of them look fairly good to me. But uh, that will be down to a surveyor or yourself to check out. Um, here's the starboard side of her keel. As you can see, really nice deep keel. And if you go a bit deeper in, we can see that there is some pitting or where we can see where there's some paint flaking off here. Again, I think this, would, this keel would benefit from uh, being uh, blasted and uh, un primed, undercoated, primed and uh, top coated and anti foul just to stop her corroding any further. But uh, certainly looks like uh, it's in reasonable shape to me and the, the keel route actually looks good to me too. But again, you need to get that checked out. Looking uh, along the length of the hull there, again, you can see the anti-fouling. And uh, it looks as though possibly we've got some evidence of, uh, of um, uh, osmosis here. So I, I reckon there might be a small uh, case, a, a smattering of osmo osmotic bubbles along this boat. But again, let's get the surveyors to uh, comment on that. And then we're looking after now along the port side. I'll just drop down so you can see her profile. Quite flat bottomed there. And again, let's just have a, a close look at the scraping here. This may be a little bit of an evidence of uh, a tiny bit of osmosis happening there too. Here's the port side of the keel. Again, knees re-preserving just to give her that uh, long lease of life. The uh, vinyl strips here tiny bit uh, scratched up there so they could probably do with being renewed quite a straightforward job um, just looking up we've got a bit of look that looks like a bit of fender wear on the port side or it might be evidence of uh, damage but I can't get close enough to talk about it uh, properly but here we come back to the port side aft looking at the uh, the rudder on the port side so this has been Tim just taking you for a look around the underside of this uh, really nice looking yacht could be a very nice prospect for somebody if you'd like any more information just go to boatshedbrighton.com for lots more pictures videos and virtual reality thanks for watching and have a fab day